Hey guys, we're back I'm talking about zinc. This is part two. If you have not uh, seen part one, I put a link down below. You can check that out first. First thing I want to touch on is uh, depression. Okay. Zinc is a natural antidepressant. Okay. Um, in patients that have major depressive disorders, they're usually always deficient in zinc. So if you have depression, it's such a simple remedy. Take some zinc. It might just help you. But generally, if you're deficient in zinc, you get degeneration of your nerves, of your nervous system. Now, there's a lot of concentration of zinc in the neurons around the amygdala and the hippocampus, specifically the dentate gyrus or gyrus. I don't know how to pronounce it. Now, the amygdala is this part of the brain that's involved with stress responses. It's kind of, you can look at it like the adrenal gland in your brain because it uh, reacts and adapts to stress. The hippocampus, which they don't know exactly what it does, but it's involved in like a relay switch with your memories, forming new memories and spatial memory, like trying to find your way out of some maze. It's kind of like your GPS, okay? It helps you locate things in space. Now the hippocampus in general has a very interesting uh, capacity to regenerate. And this is why things that are connected to memory loss, focus, concentration can be improved with intermittent fasting so well, because intermittent fasting stimulates the regeneration of this part of the brain right here. And these structures right here directly influence one's mood. Uh, dopamine, for example, binds to zinc. So dopamine gives you pleasure. So what's the opposite of pleasure? Depression, right? Um, also, it's involved in, like I said before, making proteins and guess what neurotransmitters are? They're proteins. So if you have any problem with depression or any type of mood disorder, take zinc. It can potentially help you greatly. All right, now let's shift to skin disorders. Now you may already know this, but there's so many different skin creams and skin healing creams that involve zinc. Um, and if you're zinc deficient, you can get acne, eczema, dermatitis, many different types of dermatitis, uh, rosacea. A zinc deficiency can dry out the oil in the skin. It's called the sebum. Uh, it can lead to ulcers of the skin, both superficially and internally, like ulcers of the stomach or ulcers in the mouth, or even like bed sores. Uh, one of the treatments for bed sores is a, is a zinc cream that you would put on it, or even diaper rash, for example, irritation in the skin, you use this zinc. So you can look at zinc as a natural anti-inflammatory. So a zinc deficiency can also lead to hyperpigmentation on the skin and alteration in color, alopecia. That's where you have hair loss in different patches. This is an autoimmune condition. Uh, cracked skin, skin that's fissured, uh, nail changes. And skin is the third most zinc abundant tissue in the entire body. All right, guys, stay tuned for part three when we get into the relationship between zinc influencing your blood sugars and insulin, your immune system, and the prostate and testosterone. Hey guys, real quick, I have a new healthy keto eating plan for you. Just go to drberg.com. It's right on the front page. I put a link down below. Download it. It's free. Check it out.